Hi, I'm Robert. Welcome to Wire Jewelry Wrapped. Uh, in this video, uh, I want to show you how to make a simple bead pendant, and I also wanted to go over how to make a simple uh, loop or eye. Okay, let's get started. Okay, I have a 21 gauge square dead soft wire, uh, my round nose pliers, and I'm going to make a loop or an eye. And what I do is I take my finger and I start it around the round nose pliers and I finish that with my thumb, just like that. And there's my eye. Now, it's an eye, but it's a terrible eye. The front part of this eye is straight and the rest of the eye is round. Now that happens because um, when you put the wire in the round nose, that wire was sticking up above the round nose. You have to make that wire flush. And then again, using my finger to start and my thumb to finish it, I wrap it around like that. And there's my eye, perfectly round. Quite different from the first eye that we made. So, there was, I showed you this in the intro, but there was one thing I didn't finish up on. We want this main wire to go through the center of that eye. So what we do is we take our round nose back in to the eye and we just take the wire with my finger and I'm pulling it this way and that makes the wire this main wire going straight through the eye okay it's going straight through the eye that's the proper way okay now I'm going to show you uh, how to make a simple bead pendant. I have another piece of wire, 21 gauge square dead soft, and I have a bead here. I'm going to make the eye or the bale first. Now, this is a little bit different than we, what we just did. I'm taking the big end of my uh, round nose pliers with the wire in it, and again, I start it with my finger, I bring it up right around like that and I've let this wire stick up about a half an inch from the round nose pliers. So I'm going to take that off my pliers out. I'm going to hold the side of the eye and with my finger or thumb I'm going to bring that wire over top so that it rests over top of this wire here. Now, with my uh, flush cutters, I'm going to cut this short wire about a sixteenth of an inch past the main wire on a 45 degree angle. And I'll show you how. I have my pliers about on a 45 degree angle on that short wire and I just cut it and with my flat nose pliers I'm just going to press that wire flat and when you do that properly that's what I have when you do that properly there is no sharp edge no sharp edge sixteenth past the main wire on a 45 degree angle uh, you'll learn later on in another of our videos, this is exactly how you wrap a ring or a bracelet. You put the wraps on. That's a good technique uh, so that you have no sharp wires. Okay, now I'm going to put my pliers back in there and put this straight wire straight through the center of the eye. And then I have a, a barrel... Uh, rose quartz bead here. I'm going to slide the bead on that wire 
yeah and so I have the bead on the wire and I'm gonna leave about an eighth of an inch here between where we wrap the wire around and cut it and the top of the bead now so I'm gonna hold that there with my thumb and finger and I'm going to take this wire coming out the bottom. I'm going to start it with my finger. Just like that. And I'm going to continue around the bead. Like that. I'm going to go around to the other side. I'm going to keep going around that bead. Just like that. going to go around a bit more now so that's what I have when I get to the top and I hold the wire here on my bead bring this short wire around the main wire just above the bead I'm going to cut it again on the side of the bale, 45 degree angle. And then I'm going to press it flat. And that's all I did and there's no sharp edge no sharp edge I'm just gonna straighten that bail out a little bit you want to use the big end of your pliers to make the bail because a lot of people have chains uh, with big fittings on them and there's your bead you can there's no front and back it's a very simple way to make a beaded pendant Okay, uh, in the next video I'm going to show you how to uh, do away with your split rings and actually join beads together. They don't have to be beads here, they can be small precious stones um, and you'll learn how to uh, connect a necklace with a stronger connection than split rings. Hope to see you there.